Hi Pisces and Pisces Rising, uh, here is a general look at your solar chart for April 2015 and your thoughts may be and activities may be more around the material side of life, having more material concerns this month and um, you also may be meeting and greeting or at least making connections over the wires um, a little bit more as well. Until the 20th, finances, um, goods, resources, property, all, all of that material stuff uh, is likely to have more of your attention and then, and then that will be sort of center stage and, and things that are going on will be revolving around that. Mercury is uh, there as well and uh, focusing your mind upon plans to make improvements to the piggy bank or you know the property uh, the just the material side of life renting leasing buying selling that could also be on your mind there could be more paperwork to do with that there could be more connections with those who know about those sorts of things or discussions you know how can we how can we make this better how can we capitalize on this so it'll be around assets as well and it'll also be around what is of most value to you at this time in your life and it could also be uh, um, the energy which is at the sort of the center stage here uh, what your talents are, what your gifts are, and how you can capitalize on those as an asset. Now, there is going to be a total lunar eclipse. There was a solar eclipse last month. There's going to be a lunar eclipse on the 4th in Libra, and that eclipse energy will allow you to make positive change in the area related to the eclipse in your chart. And uh, this is time for you to figure out where your priorities lie regarding these areas, money, property, um, your own talents, and anything which is um, shared with or reliant upon another. So joint interests, joint monies, joint property, okay, because you haven't got complete free say on this. Uh, or perhaps you need the input of another in order to allow you to make the transition to move on into other things. Or it might not be like that at all. It might be more on the emotional side of letting go because there is always a let, an element of letting go. Now that letting go might be volu you volunteer because you want to declutter, you want to detox, you want to have a spring clean, you want to streamline, whatever it is. Or it might be that you absolutely don't you know, you dig your heels and you don't want to let go of this one thing or this sort of expectation or idea uh, and actually you do have to kind of come down a notch or compromise or whatever it is, whatever it is for you. Now, um, so on the 15th Mercury moves out of there and goes into the same area as Mars is going to be all month which is in a pretty good angle to your sun sign and a very strong communications area so putting you very much in information exchange um, in person over the wires as I said mixing uh, and mingling more uh, but be careful with Mars that, which can be very sort of hasty and not engage brain before mouth. Um, however, communications can be useful, but you might have to hold yourself back with certain things, uh, certain things that are on your mind or feelings that you're feeling, um, because they come across as being a bit over the top or too, just too much for somebody else, all right? So just be aware of that. The other thing, of course, about that is that it might come to you through somebody else who's being a bit over the top or a bit too aggressive, right? Or you just see them like that um, because they're just being too keen or whatever, or maybe they really are being aggressive. So um, that, ca that can happen with that position of Mars. Uh, but having said that, um, actually you can do better you can be more articulate, you can be more decisive, you can see clearly what needs to be done. You can feel a little bit competitive, a little bit competitive in your communication, you're communicating with others. You think, okay, how can I make this stand out, you know? Um, or how can I make me stand out, or them, or who, whoever? And there could be more dynamism and force in how you're coming across, right? And it is in a good angle to your sun signs. You 
tend to do okay with this one um, and can do quite well through media, through mediums of self-expression, um, including speaking, writing, but others as well through arts. Uh, and uh, you could be just uh, running around more as well with Mars here. Um, uh, but it is a good time to float a, a new concept or body of work. Uh, it's a good time to be getting on with some intellectual type project, or maybe it's not like that. Maybe it's like you're training in something, you're learning something, uh, or you're simply making those connections that are going to be useful to you, right? Um, in general, there could be more paperwork uh, flying around as well. So Mercury comes into that area, and then on the 20th, the Sun comes into that area too. So there's a lot of emphasis on those sorts of things uh, in your chart uh, um, in April. And um, you have still got this kind of material security uh, concern, uh, but mostly up until mid-month, um, or really to the third week. Then the sun from the 20th, um, so, 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 so the sun is in, in the same area as, as, the sun is in the same area as Mars and Mercury is in the same area as Mars, but Venus moves away and out of there and then beams a very um, lovely, um, supportive, friendly, neighborly light into the root of your chart and that can mean that y there's more people coming into your space. It can mean you want to decorate, you want to embellish your space. Um, it might mean that you are not at home, you are just somewhere else but you really appreciate where you are and the people around. Or you might be on your own home patch and you're just appreciating it. Or maybe it's being appreciated by others, you see. Or maybe it's you going into other people's and you 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 being the the guest and they being the host to you but you're likely to be more of a host or it can be just like you wherever you are becomes a gathering place and everybody meets up there but it does tend to mean more harmony um, at the root of your life but also within yourself emotionally which is a pretty good thing in my book uh, and then Saturn uh, is at the top of your chart for a long time. Well, that's up until June. And then there's a gap and comes back in there in September f until 2017. So this is a long running um, aspect, meaning um, in this uh, position of, of, of Saturn that um, you will in slow stages redefine your place in the world, what you stand for in the world, um, maybe your parental status, Maybe it will be uh, that you will slowly construct um, a new uh, reputation for yourself. It can be those sorts of things. So there could be training going on, you know, uh, taking the long view with Saturn. Nothing happens fast with Saturn. And uh, Saturn, if you're old enough, was in there 29 years ago. So have a look back to that. 29, 30 years ago, have a look back. You Pisceans born 21st to the 24th of February or with two to five degrees rising I'm going to feel that energy the most uh, over the forecast period. I must mention that the, for all of the signs, I did another video, video called April 2015 in a nutshell and it's it's mostly concerns the cardinal signs. So if you happen to know your natal chart and know that you've got some planets or important points in cardinal signs, and most of us do, um, then uh, this may be applied to the area that that planet is in and, and the sign that that planet, and the um, area really, but the aspect uh, that it makes, its natal aspects. If it, but don't worry about that. Just, I mean, just this is for the sun sign. But if you happen to know it, then you can relate this to, to um, that. And that's between the fifth and the eighth. So really, I would extend that out a little bit and say it's probably more from the 3rd to kind of the 10th. Um, but the 5th and the 8th is, is, is the strongest point of it. It's very, very short transit, really. And that's when the Sun and Mercury go over Uranus and Pluto. So there could be some, some changes there. There could be um, a feeling of um, a kind of maverick energy or, or a, a sort of revolution going on. Now, across the planet, 
that could be going on but I'm just talking about you and your your, your personal chart so you need to stay flexible you need to kind of go with the flow because there might be issues coming up that were like okay and you've got to think on your feet right and then um, also there's the plutonic side of it which is like the breakthrough moment but breakthrough can only come more maybe towards the end of the first week or maybe into the beginning of the second week if you if you compromise on something if you let something go if you concede a point or let go of an expectation or uh, it can be so many things, but th th that is the, the, the point there of letting go. Now, again, you might volunteer to be doing this letting go because you might be literally getting rid of stuff, uh, which would be a great thing to be doing. And then that allows the space for new green shoots to spring up and breathe. Okay, and it allows you a space to breathe as well, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, because that is the sort of traditional time for us to be having spring cleans, I guess. Right, now Mars is in very determined and rather intractable Taurus all month. Again, in a really good angle to your sun signs, you are going to be able to push through with plans, I would think, um, and get to a certain stage with it. Uh, but one thing I would say, don't be too fixed in your mind over something. That's the only thing I want to say about that, really. Uh, okay, and don't bite off more than you can chew or promise more than you can deliver or maybe somebody around you promises more than they can deliver on the 17th and the 18th. That's 17th and 18th will really be strongest there, but it could just slip over either side to the 16th and the 19th, so that's the way it goes. Um, Jupiter uh, is in a long transit in your area of work but also health. So you could be learning new things, strings to your bow over this um, long transit until August. Um, but also there could be opportunities to get health matters sorted out as well uh, and uh, fitness uh, and the like. And it is generally more um, likely that people will tend to appreciate what you do your, 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 the skills you bring, the knowledge you bring, that they, they would generally tend to appreciate that. This is also a good time for you to get yourself a teacher and for you to get educated. And you Pisceans born the 2nd to the 4th of March with 12 to 14 degrees rising going to feel that energy the most. And that's it for April. Um, this is written up, the, the, the basics of this, the bones of this written up on, on my website if you want to check up on anything and also listen to your, to your moon sign or your rising sign. That could be useful. And I'll see you the next time.